Okay, today I want to talk to you about AI, artificial intelligence. Now, when I come to talk to you about AI, it automatically makes me feel very, very special. Now, I know that I'm a special person. I know that I'm unique. I know that I'm one of a million. But this time I really do feel it. And I will tell you why. It is not because the whole subject of AI makes me feel more human, because I have some soul that is only mine and only me, some anima, something inside me that a computer could never have. No, the fact that I feel special is because I am not an expert. I am not an expert about AI. Really, I am not an expert. I know... I know, but I'm telling you, seriously, I am not an expert about AI. I know I'm the only person online who is not an expert in AI. I know that I'm the only person who doesn't know everything about AI. It seems to be that all the people that used to be experts about vaccines and about uh, warfare and politics are now experts about AI. Everybody knows exactly what it is, how it works, what it can do, what are the risks, what are the benefits. I tell you that I don't know. I have a lot of questions about AI. I actually started studying AI back in 96. So we are talking about 25, 26 years of working in this field. And I still know very little about it. Why? because most people know very little about it. They know the general idea, they know how it works more or less, but they don't really know what it can do, what it could do, what it could be of benefit, what harm can it do, how can it affect society, how can it affect people, how can it affect creation. And I am here to talk about creation, about creativity. We were talking in the last videos about creativity and spirituality, which are things that are connected, they're interwined. You can't have creativity without spirituality, not real creativity. Because again, creativity, real creativity, is something that is above the rational. It is supernatural. There's always talk about religion. If faith is above our mind, or is it below our mind? Is faith something that primitive people do when they don't know how to think, how to analyze, how to rationalize? Or is faith something that people have to get to after they finished thinking? Something that you cannot reach by using your brain in the normal way, in the normal way that we use it, in our logic, in our rationality, in the way that we analyze things, in the way that we accept data. And this is exactly the point where AI starts getting interesting. Because the question is, can AI have spirituality? Can AI have that level of over the thinking, over the ration? over the logic. Can AI arrive to a point where it doesn't matter how much data it has, and we all know that it works on huge amounts of data, because that's the whole point. You gather all the data that you can, you see what worked before, what works now, what might work, you calculate the chances, you calculate how these people do it, how those people do it, and you start to create things that are supposed to be new, but are just, I don't know, reusing, refabricating, regathering all the data that we already have. So the question is, can AI surpass that limit? Can AI arrive to a point where data is not important, where faith is the only thing that is important, and you create out of this space, out of this mind space, out of this soul space, out of the place where you don't just create based of what you know, of what you've seen, of what you've learned, of what you gathered, 
but, and I've used this term a lot before and I don't understand what it means, divine intervention. We were already talking about inspiration, that nobody can actually pinpoint what is inspiration. Why do you have these moments where suddenly everything is clear? Suddenly you know what you have to do. Suddenly the next big idea comes to you. We don't know. We really don't. So to think that AI, just because it can gather a lot more data, a lot more information than us, can reach this point, I don't know. Is it possible? Will it get there? Can it get there? What happens when it gets there? These are the questions that I ask about AI. But again, I am not an expert. What do you think?